All right, here we go again, guys. Sorry about that. The phone, uh, drop the phone and I have to get started again, okay? So let's do this again. I want to talk to you about expanding. Expand, expand your brand, expand your, your art business. Figure out a way to grow, to move out of the same place you're in. If you're an artist, if you're an artist, you need to figure out how you can grow, guys. It doesn't work if you stay small. I know this is something that that uh, it's not very popular. A lot of artists don't like me to talk about this, but I, I, I really I really don't care, you know, honestly. Uh, there's plenty of artists who don't like this idea, and, and one of the reasons is because they want to create artwork for themselves, and they want to paint, and they want to do their own thing. That's awesome. That's, there's room for that, right? But then there's the rest of us. There's the rest of us who want to make a living creating artwork, right? We want to make a living with our our uh, paintings and whatnot. Here, let me. And for those of you who want to make a living creating your artwork and selling your artwork, you need to get this, guys. You need to get the whole idea of expanding. Um, one of the one of the reasons why we don't expand is because most artists don't think like businesses, but it is a it is a very common mistake. If you're an artist and you don't think like a business, it's a very common mistake to do. Uh, we have words such as art, artpreneur, solo, solopreneur, right? We even come up with this with this bullshit words. I'm gonna I gotta be honest with you guys. I'm against these words. I, I don't like them. I don't like them because they're meant to keep you small. They're meant to make you think that somehow, if See, the people that come up with this bullshit words like artpreneur, solopreneur, the people that come up with this with these words and then and then give them to, to, to the artist to use them are usually speakers, guys. <laughs> if I can spell. They're usually speakers. They do speaking gigs or they or they they're marketers that just do speaking gigs and that's how they go around. They create speaking gigs and they use this type of words. But they're not businesses. A speaker is not a business. A speaker is not a business, guys. They, someone who gets paid for speaking, that, that doesn't mean that they're a business. I don't care if they're getting a million dollars a year to, to speak, but it's not a business. And, and so it, it infects, in my point of view, it infects the, the psyche of the artist to stay small, to be like, oh yeah, if I just create one little painting and I figure out how to sell it for X amount of dollars, and if I just do that, you know, I don't know, once a month or once a year, then everything is fine. Yes, it would be fine if you didn't have overhead, if you didn't have other things coming at you. But once once you go into saying, I'm gonna monetize as an artist, I'm gonna create some dollars selling my artwork. Once you go into that, please guys understand that if that's what you wanna do, you are an entrepreneur, you're in business. You're in business. And again, this is one of those things that people are like, no, I'm not in business. I don't want to be in business. I just want to. Cool. Totally fine. There, There is room for all of us as artists. There's room for all of us. There's room for the hobbyist. There's room for the for the uh, someone who paints for therapy, personal, right? Or, or for someone else. There's room for uh, the the person who does it as a personal journey. Like, like I know artists who have professional jobs but they also paint. They're sort of like Batman, right? <laughs> At night, they're, 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 they're Batman. They paint, but during the day, they're lawyers or, or architects or whatever. They do other, they, they have a professional job. There's room for that. But then there's some of us who are like, dude, I just want to paint and I want to get paid for being an artist, period, right? I don't have a daytime job. My daytime job is my studio, right? And so there's, 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 there's this group that I'm talking to right now. That's, that is why I'm doing this Art Marketing Tuesdays. Every Tuesday, I come to you at noon, 12 p.m., to talk to you guys about marketing. And the reason why is because there's that group of us that care about uh, selling our artwork. You know, we're, we're looking for, for avenues. How do we sell our artwork? How do we, how do we market it? Where, where is that place or that information that is going to take us there and one of the reasons why I am so uh, hard I guess you know get upset (laughs) 
about the information that a lot of other artists out there are putting out is because I know that many of those artists are just speakers, as I mentioned before. Many of those are speakers, many of them are just bloggers. And that doesn't necessarily mean that they're running businesses, right? Just because someone has a platform or is a little bit famous. I mean, I know artists who nobody knows them and they're making so much income. How is that even possible? Well, because they figure out how to monetize. Now, there's artists who a lot of people know them, but they still don't know how to monetize. There's artists who are doing some YouTube channel or whatever, and they still don't know how to monetize. They still need to learn that aspect, right? So there's both both ends, both uh, poles, right? So anyways, guys, expansion is where you want to look at if you are in business. There is no other way. Now, expansion means different things to different people, right? Uh, some people may... Here, let me see right here. Some people may take it as, uh, as, oh man, if I expand, that means that I have to have more overhead, right? I have to pay more people. I have to, uh, I don't know, get a bigger studio. I have to buy more art materials and on and on and on. That could be it, but that doesn't necessarily mean, you know, that you're expanding. Expansion means that you are doing what works, you're repeating, you're repeating it, what works. It doesn't just necessarily mean grow for the sake of growth. So let me give you a little sample right here. Okay, this is what expansion is. You get one gallery show, right? You get one gallery show a year, right? How do you expand this? Well, if you get one gallery show a year and you, I don't know, let's say that you sell your paintings and you make about 3K, in that gallery show, okay? Uh, most artists never even see that. But let's, let's just for the sake of argument, you make $3,000 $3, in a gallery show. And you're like, I could, never, I could never make a living doing this. It's so hard, how can, I, how can I expand? You probably need 12 gallery shows, guys. Right? You probably need 12 gallery shows. Maybe you're making around 30K now, if you get 12 gallery shows. Get it? Okay? But now that you have 12 gallery shows, you have 12 more problems. That's where expansion comes in. Now you have 12 more problems. Now you, now you need 12 times more the artwork probably, or at least, at least five times more the artwork. And you need 12 times more the effort, right, of getting the gallery show, the effort, the personal effort of picking up the phone. If it only took you two phone calls to get a gallery show, now you're probably gonna have to do 20 phone calls, right, to get 12 gallery shows in a year, or I don't know, maybe if it took you 20 phone calls to get one, you're probably gonna need 200 phone calls to get 10 gallery shows or something like that, right? It's, that's what expansion is. I'm not talking necessarily about, about going in and, oh my God, this guy's talking about expansion. That means that I have to go and get myself a bigger gallery or a bigger art studio or go buy more art materials or whatever. It doesn't necessarily mean that. It means different things depending on where you are. If if you post something on on Facebook, right? You're an art. This is for artists, guys. Okay, this is what I'm talking about here is for artists who want to make a living as artists. You you want to receive income. You want to get paid, paper, cake. Okay, to 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 create your artwork. Uh, let's say that you post I don't know two times a day on Facebook, right? Most artists don't even do that. But let's say that you are disciplined and you're you're posting twice a day on Facebook. Okay, and that by the end of the month gets you one sold painting of, I don't know, $500. Let's say you sell a little painting, 500 bucks or something like that, right? At the end of the month. Expansion doesn't necessarily mean that you have to go and again, right? Paint more paintings and do this and do that. No, it might, necessarily, it might just mean, right, that you double up on this, right? Instead of doing two, maybe you do four times a day. Instead of doing four times a day, maybe you do 20 times a day. I don't know. It just, right? Or maybe the more times a day you do, it doesn't really matter because you only have a thousand friends on Facebook. I hope I'm not confusing you here with all this, this info. Okay? And I'm not saying because, the only reason I'm saying this is I'm moving fast. So instead of doing, in, 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 instead of posting more a day, maybe that's not the way to go. Maybe the way to go is okay maybe you post more a day 
right? You expand there, but you also expand here. Instead of just having 1,000 friends on Facebook, how about you have 10,000 friends on Facebook, right? That's what expansion is, guys. If you don't expand as an artist, because this might result into selling, I don't know, five paintings a month at 500 bucks each, right? Instead of just one with 1,000 friends and only two times a day, right? What if you, what if you do it, I don't know, 10 times a day with 10,000 friends on Facebook and it might result that instead of selling one painting at 500 bucks, you're selling five paintings at 500 bucks each. Now you're talking, right? Now, now you're doing something. Now it's working. So that's where expansion comes in, guys. And uh, again, it's one of those things that most people don't get. I didn't get it uh, because we don't think like businesses. If you are an artist, you are conditioned to think like, uh, I don't know, a bohemian, right? Uh, uh, this idea of, man, I just love creating art and, and everything's cool. That's awesome. There's a place for you. But if you are an artist who wants to get paid for creating artwork and you want to make that your, your, your living, your, your, your job, you want that to be your job, then you need to jump from just being an artist to being a business person. And that is a leap. That's a, that's, that's a, it's a quantum leap really for most artists. It's a very difficult leap to make because we're conditioned, again, we're conditioned to staying small. My little studio, my little paint set, just me, me, me. It's a very selfish thing. See, when, when, when you introvert is a very selfish thing. I've, I've talked about this many, many times. When you expand, it's an unselfish thing. Why? Because you're sharing more of yourself to the world. You're expanding, just like the universe expands, right? It's expansive. When you introvert, you're, 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 you're behaving uh, very selfish. I, I, it's my belief that most artists don't even know it, but we're very selfish. We just, we just don't know it. I'm not talking about the ego or being egotistical, egocentric, uh, you know, self-portrait type of artist. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is that we think too much about ourselves only, about ourselves. Like, oh, I want my painting to come out right. I want the colors to be right. I want my people to love what I do, but, but I, have to, I have to put all this effort and all this energy in, in here. But, but we really don't take it out to the world. We don't do enough to take it out to the world. So it's very introvert. It's very me, 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 me. So this is the word of the day, guys, okay? Expand, expand. Figure out how you can expand. If you don't know how to expand, if you have, if you have difficulty, maybe you're, maybe you're not sure, some of the ideas, you can go implement some of the ideas I just gave you right now, and you'll see a difference in your, in your, if you're already creating artwork and you're already selling a little bit, you're gonna see a difference if you just implement what I, what I said right here. Watch this video again. I invite you to watch this video again. Watch it three, five, ten times so that you can get it because it is a little difficult in the beginning to, to wrap your, your brain around it. But once you get it, you get it. If you have a uh, difficulty with that, I, I also coach artists, by the way. I also coach artists. And uh, you can call me and we can set up an appointment. And I don't know. If you're not, if, just to find out what I can do for you. If I can even help you, if I can help you, we can move forward. If I can't help you, I'll let you know. I'm a, I'm a very honest guy. If I can't help you, I can't help you. But if I can, uh, I'll let you know for sure. I'll let you know either way. And we can move on from there. All right? My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist. Uh, send me, message me, DM me if you want to know more about coaching. And if you're watching this on YouTube, guys, uh, I'm going to leave my, my uh, email below somewhere and you can send me an email and ask me about coaching there all right i'll, I'll also send you to my my website where i have a, a coaching the quotes and everything all right guys take care my name is jose trujillo and hey expand all right adios